So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera using my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and my NARS concealer. There's my dog in the back of the video. <laughs> now I'm taking my Anastasia concealer and putting that all over my lids to prep the skin for eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge and blend that out. Using my 35P palette from Morphe, I'm gonna take that shade with a large fluffy brush and place that over my crease. Now taking a smaller fluffy brush and focusing that color closer into my crease so that there is an ombre between the two colors. I placed concealer under the fold of my eye and then looked up so I can see how high I needed to go to create my cut crease. Now I'm going to take that dark shade again and start to create my halo eye by putting the shade on the outer and inner corner of my eye. Going in my Naked 2 palette, taking that silver shade and putting it at the center of my lid and making sure that I place it nicely in the cut crease so it looks sharp. Now I'm making sure everything is blended together. Going in my 35B palette, I'm going to take that green shade and put it in between the silver and the brown as a transition. Taking my NYX primer for glitter, I'm going to take a concealer brush and place that at the center of my lid. Using this green glitter from Super Glitters, I will place that over the center of my lid and I will make sure that I have the specific glitter in the description box. When I get a lot of glitter fallout, I like to use tape to get it off. That's just a little hack if you're having a glitter situation. Taking Fenty Primer, I'm placing that all over my face. With my Too Faced foundation, I'm going to use a buffer brush and blend that into my skin. Now I'm going to take LA Girl Concealer, putting that under my eyes, forehead, and chin. With a Real Technique sponge, I'm going to blend all of that together. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and put that under my eyes to bake. With my 35B palette, I'm going to start putting color on my lower lash line. And I'm using a green because I thought it would be a nice pop of color with my dress. Now using my Hula Benefit bronzer, I'm going to start bronzing up my skin to add a little bit of warmth to my face. Now I'm going to wipe off my bake so I can finish off my cheeks. For blush today, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild blush. It's super pigmented and rosy, just like um, Princess Tiana's cheeks were. <laughs> For highlight today, I'm going to be using one of my favorites. It's the Artist Couture slash Jackie Ina collab. And I'm just putting that on my cheekbones and my nose and forehead. You know the drill. For lips today, I'm using Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton. Like 
and then I'm going to top it off with this Jouer Cosmetics lip topper so it's a little more red because Princess Tiana does have red berry lips. For lashes today, I used Dodo Lashes in the style D119 and I have never used these before so I got to whip out a new pair of lashes. And that is the finished makeup look. That is my dress over there and I'm going to be serving Princess Tiana looks. I don't get my nails done that often so I had no idea where to go but I was recommended to a place called Azuri Salon and Spa and it was actually really nice and cute. Um, I got my nails done by a lady named Karen. She was super sweet and hilarious and she let me vlog. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend you go see her to do your nails. This is a mess. Like absolutely ridiculous. Oof, I look good though. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so cute. oh my god, you look so good. Okay, so I'm at Town Center. It's raining, so we can't get any good places to like take pictures and stuff. And my hair is uncurling. Um, what's it called? I had to do this to my dress because my boobs were too small. My abuelo like stitched it up, sew it up, sewed, sewed, however you say that. Um, she like fixed it up like right before I left the town center and yeah. she got me up. Congratulations. That's our cutest. That's our cutest. Leave. 